All right, friends, welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel, Midweek Edition. If this is the first time you're visiting our channel, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our over five, 605, uh, I think that's a bloopers reel. Well, let's try it again. Okay. Hello, friends, and welcome to another edition of the Urban Homesteading Channel, Midweek Edition. If this is the first time you're visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our over 650 videos arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are confident you're going to find something both useful and entertaining to watch. If you've been here before, welcome back. If today's your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. When we were wiring the, when we were wiring the office, we made a provision to have power here, which is an unusual place, Mm -hmm. Usually the power is lower, according to code, right? Mm -hmm. But the idea is that we're going to put a monitor here on a TV screen, and this is what we're going to show you how to do today. Uh, it is an easy way not to use a furniture, not take floor space. And for small space, it is an ideal way to have a TV or another monitor, right? Mm -hmm. So stick around, and we're going to show you how this works. For our hardware today, we're going to use some Armstrong, this is the brand, Armstrong TV wall mount. Again, you can use it to, to mount a monitor, it doesn't have to be a TV. Mm -hmm. In our case, we'll probably use it for both. I will probably cast on it and also use it as a TV. Uh, all of them are pretty much the same. This specific one is for smaller TVs, up to 42 inches. Can you imagine it's small? It used to be 19, was huge. <laughs> now 42 inches is small. And it comes in two pieces. First, you attach this on the wall with this plate here. And we know that our stud is here, so that's where we're going to attach it. And then we're attaching this to the back of the TV. It's a VESA mount. In case you don't know what a VESA mount is, a VESA, a VESA mount is a universal system that has all the openings for any TV that you're going to purchase. So it theoretically doesn't need any adjustment, right? So we're going to use a VESA mount. And this attaches with two screws on the wall. So the first thing would be to make our marks or make our, our holes here. We're going to put this in this location, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense there or you think we should put it here? Uh, it, okay, and here we are drilling the pilot holes for the bolts. Okay. Now we're going to put the first screw in. Okay. I can't see it, so. Okay, so here goes the first lag bolt. Oh, you don't have a washer. Are you concerned about that? No. Okay. okay. Perfect. And now yes. we're going to make another one. That will mm -hmm. hold itself. Actually, that probably will hold the whole TV, to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, but we're going to be safe and do them both. Right. Right? Yes. Where I'm going to do it here, just in case. It is too strong and I cannot feel it, but that's okay. And where did I put the other screw? It should still be there. No, I was holding both of them. And here goes that second bolt. Okay, so that's nice and solid, and as you can see, it rotates back and forth. Okay. And then so here is the, the plate. This will attach on TV, and in the back it has two hooks. Are they visible then? Yep. And the two hooks go up here and provide a, a positive. Okay. So we attach our vessel mount to the TV, and as I was alluding earlier, even though the holes are universal and the way we're we expecting them, manufacturers do silly things like this. So the hole is correct, but then the mount has to be a little bit tilted because the manufacturer put a bump there, right? Mm -hmm. But this is how it is. In, in every case, that will be the case. There are holes in the back. Your vessel mount will attach to those holes, 
And then our next step will be to hang it. You want to go up there? Okay. And we're going to attempt that, and we'll be right back with you. So we've attached the TV, as you can see. And now comes the fun part of taking all the, the little, what you call them, protective uh, plastic uh -huh. off. Somehow we have our fingers all over the TV already, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, well. So do you want to go a little more that way? Uh, sure. So them the idea. So when I sit on the desk, I can project uh, my my screen or watch TV up there, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. And here's the perspective of the. Yeah. And you can sit down and show them the perspective. Okay. So that's where the screen will be. Be working at the desk here. Have this screen and then that up on the wall. And we kind of black out. This is about the biggest size we could fit on that corner. With that orientation, right. yeah. Well, I wanted it in the corner, but the only thing I didn't calculate, some of them have a bigger, like the one we have inside. Yeah. How it expands. Bigger back, yeah. Uh huh. No back. The, the oh, arm the, the hanger expands. arm. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very set. Yeah. Um, okay. Like, I should have checked on it. I didn't check on it. Okay. So next we're going to put a little antenna mm -hmm. that will be temporary for now just for okay. testing purposes and then uh, of course we have to, pl to plug it in, right? Yeah. All right, let's do a couple of tests and we're going to Here we are, the TV is uh, on mm -hmm. and connected. I have a temporary antenna. I'm going to make a permanent antenna so it will not be visible, right? Mm -hmm. But for testing purposes I have a temporary antenna. This is a fun DIY project and stores charge you from $70 to $150 to do this, mm -hmm. to VESA mount the TV. So when you hear that, Especially you hear that term VESA, doesn't make a lot of sense, you don't know what it is. It's really not that difficult, you can do it yourself, right? Mm -hmm. All you need is a, some form of a power driver, a drill bit set, and a way to, to, to drive screws and bolts, right? Mm -hmm. Now, even though these are very light TVs, it is important, especially if you have a heavier TV, to, to put it on studs, to make sure it will not fall, right? Right. This TV is so light that I think we could use uh, double-sided tape and it would have stayed on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it was extremely light, right? Yeah. The TVs these days are very, very light. Well, what uh, what we learn about this little episode? It is yeah. definitely save you about $100 to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. It is easy to do it yourself. The How best amount is $8.95, but I'm an inside track member at uh, Harbor Freight, and that is a Harbor Freight brand. Mm -hmm. This is an area you can spend a lot of money. You don't have to, right? Right. Find the cheapest. They're all made, I mean, how can I say? There is nothing that will fail. This has much more strength than anything you're going to put on it, no matter what brand you buy, right? Okay. So failure is not really a concern you have. Find the cheapest one you can find. It's just making sure you've got it in a stud or right. fully mounted so that it yeah. stays. Mm -hmm. And even that, remember, it came with uh, drywall. Um, yeah. Things so it, it. These little. Yeah. So you can put it directly on drywall on something this light. Yeah. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed this little episode, and if you did, we'll appreciate the thumbs up. If you didn't, the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you would like to see in future episodes. From Dr. Wizard, Mrs. Wizard, Elpida, and their home homesteading channel, stay safe, put your masks on, wash your hands, and get vaccinated. See you soon, friends.